what if I told you that the empty soda can you tossed into the recycling bin could come back as a shiny new tea kettle on your stove? It might sound crazy, but aluminum is one of the most recyclable materials in the world. It can be reused endlessly without losing quality. In fact, recycling aluminum saves about 95% of the energy needed to make new aluminum from scratch. This means less mining, less waste, and a much greener planet. But how does a crumpled soda can turn into something as sleek and useful as a tea kettle? From collection and shredding to melting and molding, the journey is surprisingly complex and fascinating. It's not just about saving energy or keeping cans out of landfills. It's also about transforming waste into something valuable and practical for everyday life. Along the way, powerful machines, blazing hot furnaces, and skilled workers make sure that every step is done right. In this video, we're showing you the step-by-step -step journey of recycled aluminum from discarded cans to polished tea kettles. You'll see how advanced machines, scorching furnaces, and clever techniques turn scrap into something you can actually use. The journey of recycled aluminum starts with something simple, tossing an empty can into a recycling bin. But behind that small action is a huge system that collects millions of cans every day. In the United States, for example, people can return cans to redemption centers for a bit of cash, which helps keep them out of landfills. In Europe, deposit refund programs encourage people to recycle, while Brazil leads the world with an impressive 98% recycling rate thanks to strong national programs. Once collected, the cans head to recycling centers where they're sorted and crushed into massive bales. Each bale can weigh up to 1,000 kilograms and hold around 65,000 cans. Compressing them this way makes transportation much easier and cheaper. These heavy blocks are then shipped to large recycling plants in places like the UK, Japan, Germany, and the US. Here, they wait to be torn apart, melted down, and transformed into something completely new. It's the first step in a complex process that proves how powerful recycling can be. Once the bales of crushed cans reach the recycling plant, it's time to tear them apart, literally. Powerful shredders, equipped with 340 horsepower, rip through the bales and turn the cans into small, jagged pieces in seconds. This isn't just for show. Shredding makes the aluminum easier to clean and melt later on. As the shredded metal moves along conveyor belts, the noise of grinding metal fills the air, making it clear that recycling is serious business. But before these pieces can be melted, they need to be spotless. That's where advanced sorting systems come in. Since aluminum isn't magnetic, simple magnets can't separate it from other materials like steel. Instead, the shredded pieces pass through high-tech optical scanners that use infrared sensors to spot and remove anything that isn't aluminum, like plastic, glass, or bits of labels. Any stray bits of steel that slip through are caught by magnetic separators further down the line. This quick but precise process makes sure that only clean aluminum moves forward, ready to be melted and transformed into something new. With the aluminum pieces cleaned and sorted, it's time for the most intense part of the journey, melting. The shredded metal is fed into giant furnaces that heat up to over 700 degrees Celsius, turning solid aluminum into a glowing silvery liquid. And while we're melting aluminum into a shiny liquid, why not transform this channel too? By subscribing, you can help me turn this channel into something even cooler than a tea kettle. But melting aluminum isn't as simple as it sounds. As soon as the metal liquefies, it reacts with oxygen in the air, creating a layer of aluminum oxide called dross. If left unchecked, this dross can mix back into the liquid metal and mess up its quality. To prevent this, skilled operators use long steel paddles to skim the dross off the surface, making sure the metal stays pure. That's not all. Many recycling plants add special chemicals called flux agents that help impurities stick together and float to the top. Some even inject chlorine gas into the furnace, which reacts with unwanted particles and lifts them away for easy removal. By the time the stage is over, the molten aluminum is almost perfectly pure and ready to be cast into solid forms. With the aluminum purified and molten, it's time to give it a new shape. The liquid metal is carefully poured into molds designed specifically for tea kettles. One popular method is called direct chill casting. As the molten aluminum fills the mold, water sprays onto it from all sides, cooling it down quickly. This fast cooling prevents cracks or defects, making sure the finished product is strong and smooth. In just a few minutes, the aluminum hardens into solid pieces that look nothing like crumpled soda cans. Some recycling plants use a different method called sand casting, 
which allows them to create more detailed shapes. No matter the method, the goal is the same, than to turn scrap aluminum into something that can be polished and shaped further. Once the metal has cooled and solidified, it's ready for the next step, trimming, polishing, and adding all the parts that make a tea kettle useful. After casting, the aluminum pieces still look rough and unfinished. That's where shaping and finishing come in. First, powerful cutting tools trim off any extra metal, leaving behind smooth edges. Next, the pieces go through a series of polishing machines that buff the surface until it's shiny and reflective, far from the crumpled cans they once were. But a tea kettle is more than just a shiny shell. Handles, spouts, and lids need to be attached, and that requires precision. Workers or robotic arms fit each part in place, securing them tightly to ensure the kettle can handle heat and weight without falling apart. To top it off, a special coating is often applied to make the aluminum heat resistant and prevent it from reacting with water. By the time this step is done, the recycled aluminum has been fully transformed into a sleek, ready-to-use tea kettle. Recycling aluminum isn't just great for the planet, it's also a big win for the economy. In the United States alone, the aluminum recycling industry supports over 100,000 jobs and generates billions of dollars each year. Recycling aluminum uses 95% less energy compared to making new aluminum from raw ore, which means huge savings on electricity and resources. This energy efficiency not only cuts costs, but also significantly reduces greenhouse gas emissions, helping to fight climate change. From an environmental standpoint, the benefits are just as impressive. Aluminum can be recycled endlessly without losing quality, which keeps millions of tons of waste out of landfills every year. This closed loop system is a perfect example of the circular economy, an approach that focuses on reusing and recycling materials instead of throwing them away. By choosing products made from recycled aluminum, like tea kettles, consumers help reduce mining, conserve energy, and support a more sustainable future. It's proof that small actions like recycling a soda can uh, can make a big difference for both the planet and the economy. With the shaping and finishing complete, the tea kettles are almost ready to leave the factory, but first, they need to pass a series of strict quality checks. Each kettle is inspected to make sure there are no cracks, leaks, or defects that could cause problems later on. Some are even tested under high heat and pressure to guarantee they can handle daily use without warping or breaking. Only the kettles that pass every test move forward. Those that don't are sent back to be melted and recycled again. Once they pass inspection, the kettles are cleaned, packed, and prepared for shipping. They're carefully stacked into boxes and loaded onto trucks, ready to be sent to stores or directly to customers. What started as a pile of crushed soda cans has now become a polished tea kettle, ready to whistle away on someone's stove. The journey from trash to treasure is complete. Proof that recycling isn't just about saving energy, but also about giving old materials a brand new life. And just like that, a simple soda can has been transformed into something both practical and sustainable. The journey from recycled aluminum cans to polished tea kettles shows how effective recycling really is. It's not just about saving energy or cutting down waste. It's about turning old materials into useful products. Recycling aluminum saves 95% of the energy needed to make new metal, cuts greenhouse gas emissions, and supports thousands of jobs in a billion-dollar industry. By choosing products made from recycled aluminum, like tea kettles, we help keep valuable resources in use instead of in landfills. So the next time you finish a drink and toss the can into a recycling bin, remember, it's more than just getting rid of trash. It's a way to make sure that aluminum gets reused again and again. Recycling doesn't just close the loop. It keeps valuable materials in motion helping the planet and the economy at the same time.